Hi, it's uh, Tom from FDS here, and uh, today I'm going to run you through a mod for the modulus. Uh, I call this the totally modular modulus mod. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to go through stripping down the modulus, and um, there's plenty of guides to that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the bits you need to keep and all the other wiring you can safely throw away. So I've removed the lock here from the maglock switch and this is the joining block and uh, then I've got the jamdor switch under here and uh, then these are the wires that go to the battery compartment. I've removed the battery compartment, I'm going to recycle that. The idea is that you will be able to run this with either AA batteries and stock motors, IMRs and stock motors or 2S LiPo and stock motors and it's being built for an indoor player and uh, they've got a 100 FPS cap so it means he can just use it with whatever. He can play at home like it was normally stock and um, hopefully it should give hours of entertainment. And uh, all you need to do is start by stripping everything off this block here because you're not going to need anything off the joining block. So just cut the joining block out, put that in the skip. That's only there to allow all of the uh, wiring to the locks to be a little tidier. Now you're probably going to want the two wires that go to the micro switch. So you've got two grey and one red, normally open at the top, which is red. Grey is common and the other grey is normally closed. So you can peel off that one because you're not going to need it and just save two wires on the switch. It doesn't matter which way around they go as long as you've got the normally open and the common. And then you're going to want this red wire and this black wire and you're not going to want this long wire here. So you can snip that off or you can use those for running LEDs. This blaster is not going to feature LEDs at this point in time. I'll leave the switch in place though because it's useful to have. And then this long grey front to back wire, don't need that. You might need that in a minute for making uh, extensions to the wiring loom. So that leaves you with your red front to backs and your black front to backs. So those two are going to be um, used for the ones, the red one's going to be the feed to the power. So that will go to the main battery for the switch and the black will be the return from the switch so that when you push the rev trigger the black will be the signal current which will go through to the MOSFET and then we're using the usual IRFZ44N N channel MOSFET and that's going to sit in here and then we're going to have a plug-in motor block and we're also going to have a plug for the LiPo and a plug on the end of the battery tray. Now one of the things we're going to do is this lip here we're going to remove because that will allow us to drop the battery tray in and out and helpfully the grip on this covers completely that area. Now you can do a similar mod to this on the um, Cassian Andor and Gin Erso. It's a little more involved in the battery area just with the tray because it doesn't have this retaining nut on it um, for the battery tray door so that's worth remembering. Right, I'm ready to start making some connections. I'm going to strip the wires back. I always do the switch first for the MOSFET because it's done and then you can concentrate on the main area of the blaster. After that Obviously I'll wire the uh, motors like normal and uh, their front uh, two terminals are positive, back two terminals are negative. We'll just flip that over and that will have a connector on it. So I may skip some of the obvious stages because you've all seen me do this lots of times before. I just realised that I made a bit of a mistake there when I was looking at the micro switch. The two wires you want to keep are the bottom one and the middle one. So there's, the, there's two grey ones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to desolder the red one from the um, normally closed which is the top pin and then flip it round. It's really early in the morning this morning and I haven't had enough cups of tea. Right, so I've uh, just swapped those two round on the micro switch and I'm just going to make my connections. Okay, so that's done and you'll see that that gives us a nice neat loom up the back here. There's no crap getting in the way. So the next thing you can do is you can put the wiring cover back on because you're not going to need to get access to that wiring channel again. Let's get all of this stuff tucked back down inside the cable run. See the beauty of this method is that it's nice and neat and it doesn't produce this great big bird's nest of heavy gauge wire that you see so many in other people's mods. It's one of the reasons why I think the MOSFETs are so useful for these kinds of blasters. So what I've got, that one's got to go to my main battery wire and that one is um, going to the MOSFET. You can have them round either way, I just use red because it's a power feed. And remember we've got that standard way of coding the wires. Right, I'm ready to start on the MOSFET now. So what I'm going to do is um, I've got to get my pins around the right way this time, which is always interesting. So I'm going to start on the MOSFET and I'm going to connect the um, switch output to the MOSFET and then I'm going to do the main battery lead here and then I'll do the motor block. Okay, I've popped the wiring cover back on here and I just put the jam door in so I don't forget it later because I'm really bad for doing that. I lose the damn things all the time. So I'm ready to make my first connection to the MOSFET. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the MOSFET up in here 
because the nice thing about the modulus is you've got all this dead space up front which you can recycle for different things and uh, it's particularly handy if you're running lots of electronics I'm going to give a shout to Minky from Marston's Brewery he's one of our Brit nerfers and uh, when he's not making beer he's very very busy making electronics and uh, I think he has the most electronics in any modulus I've ever seen ever so um, this one just goes on to the left hand pin of the uh, MOSFET as it faces up if you're in any doubt about MOSFETs go watch my MOSFET video that should explain everything I'm just making my standard MOSFET main all in and so that can now sit nicely under there and we can make use of the wiring clamps and then I'll probably put a clamp in here to hold it all in place and then this one I can now join to my main battery cable my main battery cable is probably going to sit up here because that gives room for the plug um, up in this front section here because you need somewhere to push the plug in when you have put the lipo in it's nice to have a hole to put the plug I might I often put the plug up here so I'll look at that in a minute now this piece is extremely simple because it just goes to the XT60 to hold the battery and the other end goes onto the Deans. I'm just tinning the wire so I put a little bit of flux on and then I'll now put some solder on until the wire is a nice silver like that and that's all the solder into the wire ready to go onto the contact. MTB have got a nice soldering video, go watch that if you learn how to solder. Also I only ever use this stuff which is leaded solder and I use a separate flux which is this greasy stuff that you'll see me dabbing on with a cocktail stick and uh, that's how I solder. Not everybody does it that way but that's how I do it. So the next thing I need is I need to get the XT60 in but I also need to just put this little feed into place here. So I'm probably going to be able to shorten that wire and we'll want some to allow it to tuck up there. Okay, so I'm getting ready to um, just do the XT60 connector now and uh, obviously you need the right end for the right job. That's the one that's going to go on the battery pack. Right, ready to do the XT60 now. So I'm just going to solder that up. If anybody's looking for the parts of this job, I use bright connectors on eBay and then my RC connectors come from Blade Hobbies, again on eBay. I don't need to buy 20 of everything, so I don't worry too much about wholesale and all that kind of stuff. And uh, I'd rather pay for ones that weren't cheap, nasty knockoff and that were able to carry the current that they say they're going to carry. Again, check your polarity. It does say on the connector. Right, so the plan is that that... The other place you can put it is you can put it up front here. And there's all this dead space. I'm going to put the motor block connector probably in there. Um, but you can run, you can run up the battery up and have the line coming out here but it means that you normally have to take this support post off to get the plug through so I'm going to use this nice big aperture in the middle for my battery right I'm ready to do my negative uh, to the FET now so that's a relatively short one again obviously where I've tinned that it's now going to be really easy to put together I'll just have to melt the solder back down again <coughs> 